Total Mail Converter, you can easily convert emails to PDF, DOC, TIFF, OST, and other formats. Let's see how it works. First, launch the program. Locate the folder with MSG, EML, EMLX, MIM files. You will see the folder tree with your email on your left panel and the list of messages of whichever folder you select in the middle panel. Each message can be previewed in the right panel. Select the emails that you want to convert by clicking on them. Press the Check All button if you want to process all emails in this folder. Then select the target format. Here I am choosing PDF. This is Total Mail Converter's wizard. Here we set the parameters of the conversion. First, it asks for the destination folder for the output files. As I have selected PDF as the output format, the app suggests combining all emails into one multi-page PDF file, but I prefer separate files. Press Next. The program can rename output files. It's good to have descriptive names so that you can find the necessary one. You can add the sender's name or subject or date right to the file name. It's very flexible. You can either add or remove any macro. Press Next. Here, we select the messages fields that should be incorporated into the output file. By default, each file will have the sender, recipient, date, subject, and body included. You can also include sender IP, CC, or BCC fields. As you may have emails received from several time zones, we have added the option of using coordinated universal time to avoid mess. This option is good when your emails contain links to images in the web and you do not want them to be inserted into the output copies. Press Next and tell the program what you want to do with the attachments. You have three options. First, save attachments in their original file types. Second, convert them to PDF along with emails. This option is available in the Pro version of the app. Third, you can get rid of the attached files and convert emails only. I select Saving Attachments. In this tab, you can give your attachments new names. Press Next. Here, you can tune the output document appearance. Select one of the four styles or import your own CSS file. This is the header inlay. Use it to add a page counter or a date to your output files. You can also use some predefined stamps like confidential, for attorney's eyes only, or type in any text you like. Then you select the position of the header, its font, color, and size. If you want to add a logo or any other picture to your files, use image inlay. Footer inlay is about the same watermarks, but they are located in the footer of the page. Press Next. Here, you can get the table of contents. It's great for easy navigation when you combine several emails into one PDF. As I am converting emails to PDF, the app suggests some PDF-related settings. I can choose page size, orientation, etc. I rely on default values. I am done with the settings, so I press the Start button. Note that you can skip all the settings, just check the emails and select the target file type. Total Mail Converter will convert them with default settings that are good for most cases. Here we get Process Complete Notice. It shows how many files we processed and if there were any errors. As you can see, Total Mail Converter is very flexible in settings, so you can customize it to your particular need. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask us by email at support at coolutils.com. Thanks for watching.